If we apply the template for processing a month, this is what our function is going to look like. And we're going to have to fill in 12 cases. For example, in the first case, we'll have to figure out how to abbreviate January. We could do that with, for example, an inner comp like this. And in this inner comp, we're really following already the template for processing a month format. So now we have on the outside as the first step of the function, processing the months, and then for each case, for example, here for the January case, processing in turn in the inner account, the format. And we'll do that for 12 cases of the month. And if we're not comfortable with writing nested counts, we should write 12 helper functions with names such as format January, format February, and so on. Again, one helper function for each case. That's a reasonable way to go about it, and it will be correct. You get some final design that works perfectly, but it's kind of long and hard to test and tricky to understand. So it's actually easier to not follow the template for processing a month and instead follow the template for processing a month format. So the template is shorter, but that's not all. The code for the answers in each of the two cases is also going to be simpler, it turns out. In the long case, we just return the months. In the short case, we can just use the abrev month function that we just defined. We could also put the definition of abrev months here. We could inline abrev months into format months, but we might also use the function that we already have designed. And now when we run the test, our test pass, and there's no uncovered code because there are only two cases in the definition. Both cases are covered and we're done, short and sweet. So again, in this two input example format months, you see how when we write a function by looking at the examples and the purpose of the function and thinking more about which input we want to do different things depending on, we might make a conscious choice about which template to follow. And that's the main point of this lecture. I want to make sure that you're starting to think about which template to follow because there's actually a choice, especially when there are multiple inputs, like here, when one input is a month and another input is a month format. Now let's move on to a more interesting example of having two inputs and deciding which template to follow. 